Hello, all of you watch enthusiasts around the globe. My name is Davor, and this is first thought of um, my first actually watch which I received for review. So I didn't bought this watch. Uh, this is not yet for sale. It's available for pre-order, but it's not available for sale yet. And this is just uh, pre-production uh, uh, unit of Neminus company. As you can see, it's quite okay. This is the watch, actually. Uh, first of all, um, yeah, as, as I said, this is the watch from Neminus company, new company. This is their first watch. Actually, this is series uh, one of three watches. It's a um, uh, space exploration series. And I have here uh, actually Mars Traveler. There's uh, two more. One is uh, Earth Dweller and second is uh, Moon Explorer. And I'm not using any um, fancy schmancy. I will use simple one. So here is the, uh, this is the Spaceman models. And as you can see, there is the Earth Dweller, Moon Explorer, and I have for review just Mars Traveler. Um, they are almost the same, all of them. Uh, the different, I will just now say uh, differences because I will put myself on the travel ex ex uh, Mars Traveler. Um, differences between these three is, as you can see, obviously, it's the badge or sign here. Here is the Earth, here is the Moon, and here is the Mars. Also, the, this casing is uh, three, uh, 16 L uh, stainless steel. This is DLC, black one. DLC, it means um, diamond-like coating or diamond uh, 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 carbon coating. It's much better than um, any other coatings. There's also available a few more. Or uh, It's much better than PDV, PVD, no question about. And this one is, uh, which I have for review, is titanium DLC coating. So it's um, stainless steel, 316 uh, surgical stainless steel, uh, usual stuff, but it's uh, coated, DLC coated uh, in titanium color, let's say like that. And uh, that's it about Earth and Moon Explorer. Uh, now I will concentrate on the Mars Traveler. So that's it. That is done. So let's uh, also, this is not the box in which uh, your, if you buy it, uh, will came. It will came in, um, the latest information is it will came in a, a leather travel Porsche. Uh, so I still don't know in what condition this one is. I'm literally just opening as you can see. I'm, and I'm just telling you what I find out. So it ain't gonna be, maybe it's gonna be, but uh, the latest information is uh, that it will came in uh, genuine later uh, travel Porsche for, I don't know, yeah, probably few watches, except this one. Uh, now I will not do any drums or similar because this is not my watch. It is the watch for review. First thought. I'm look. Um, I will now look beside the camera in in the watch. And my th first thought. I like the color. This DLC titanium coating. I like the color. It's like dark titanium you do have few grades of titanium and it's literally it's like dark titanium uh, okay i like the color it's really nice is it the heavy watch well i have much heavier than this one i, I will say this is somewhere in the middle um, the straps are this is not silicon i will say it's not silicon it's something between, it's soft. Let me smell it. It have 
sun um, I will not say gummy smell but it's have new smell you know when you have something new whatever it is it's new car new new strap new anything it has that smell of the new I guess they change the strap before I've got it I don't know I this is just my guess let me see the buckle oh it's nice Let me see the angle. Yeah, and now you can see Neminus. I like these lines, and I really think it's a new buckle, so it's probably yeah, it's new. This is definitely new. I, I think it's a new strap. Okay, so the strap is, as you can see. I like this one. I never see something like this. I like this one. And I, I, I don't like when it's... Oh, it's not... It's like... Like brushed feeling. It's not, you know, just polished. Like polished. It's 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 like brushed. It's a satin feeling on, on, the, on, the, on the strap. It's the same. And I, I, I like these details. Uh, also... The latest news, um, there is an option for uh, that uh, this watch will came with the leather strap and uh, when it reached the uh, Kickstarter, one of the goals uh, for the Kickstarter will be also um, Stingray strap and I did a picture, I will probably put it later on. Um, with the stingray it's look beautiful especially this one uh, titanium with with gray stingray strap but that is something which will happen in the future probably so we will see about that so that is about the strap this um, silicon i will say silicon i don't have any other i know it's um, a lot of put in this uh, in this strap because um this strap is uh, uh tested it has certificates it's uh, worth uh, heat re uh, cold and heat resistance from minus 40 celsius degree till 260 celsius degree it's non-toxic non-sticky um, easy to clean because well i don't know about these parts uh it should be easy clean with the water just simple water just put it in the water wash it up and that's it uh, just one thing i'll take this it's the cobble doing with diamonds in in it so just not to scratch anything because this is oh this is i'm jumping around it is sapphire uh, crystal glass and this one is also sapphire crystal glass so but i don't want to scratch anything so it's better without it usually i have gloves but Oh, I also have some problems, but that's not your story for this one. So, strap. Um, the, this strap from uh, Spaceman Collection is um, cold resistant, hold resistant, uh, and yeah, made this by ESO approved factory. So, all certificates are there, so um, it should be uh, easy to wear, and um, it's also non-allergenic, so... And it's look nice, actually, it's look nice. And I'm not, yeah, it's look nice. Just one usual, my usual test about the straps, and that is how long they are. And uh, this is too much. Well, this is the, let me see, is it the last? Um, yeah, it should be, I'm trying to do the last because maybe I will try second to last let me see second to last yeah it still work yeah second to last for 21 centimeter strap which means and that is I'm talking from experience um, this part because as you can see it's just barely under the first stopper um, it will go out so 
I would like to see a longer strap. Uh, definitely longer strap. But not much. Just this part go out at least 5 millimeters. Now it's maybe one and a half, two millimeters. So it's ain't gonna go out. So it's not a big problem, even for my well, uh, my left wrist is a little bit um, smaller than the right wrist. On the right wrist, I will probably go on the last uh, on the last hole in the strap. Otherwise, the strap is really nice, and I like these details. It's a nice strap. Usually, I don't. I to, in whole honesty, I usually do not wear uh, silicone straps or gummy straps or whatever you want to call them so that is about the strap so let's talk now about the case so oh yeah i do have some notes about it just bulletins or notes and that's it uh, the case as I said before, the case is uh, DLC uh, titanium color. This doesn't mean it's titanium case, it's just uh, DLC coating on the 316L stainless steel case. And it's actually, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's a really nice case. I like this case, as you can see. It's looking nice and the filling, well, I will put it again on my wrist. And as you can see, I hope you can see, well, maybe we need something white under this. And I will use this one. Well, it's the same. Okay. It's a nice case. Trust me. And there's the plate, which is screwed in. And it's almost the same level as the case, so that means it is the work in machined in, and it's with uh, hold it with two screws. And on this, as you can see, I hope you can read. It says Mars Traveler. Of course, on the Earth Dweller, it says Earth Dweller. On the Mars Explorers, uh, on the Moon Explorer, it says Moon Explorer. So uh, this is the uh, helium. Well, escape wall and uh, <coughs> it's nice design it's it's just everything is in the level so nothing pop out of the of the case as you can see the locks are, are there is no pin but it's uh, screwable pins it's not uh, spring pins but screwable pins so it's really nice just unscrew them put it on the strap and that's it oh it's double screen so you can actually have two parts okay this is the other side of the case as you can see crown have neminus logo which is made from uh, four psi uh, greek I th yeah it's a greek character and uh, actually it's meaning it's because the the, the it is psi so it's a psychology which is used to design this watch um, it's I did receive a lot of material about this watch, writing material of this watch. Uh, I don't have intention to tell you everything from that, because a lot of that is just uh, marketing stuff, and uh, we are doing here something else. But uh, general idea was that uh, this watch is for the everybody, and this is the exploration watch. So it's not small watch, and when we are talking about case zero see it's 44.2 millimeters so we will say 42 i will just check like this still 44.1 so it's 44 millimeters uh, the thickness overall is 16 millimeters and uh, interesting just this sapphire glass is five millimeter thick so it is a thick sapphire glass and it's uh, triple coated from inside uh, anti-reflecting 
I don't know from time to time yeah you, you can see from time to time this blue uh, shining out that means it's it's coated and it's really nice it's, yeah you can see it's doom uh, sapphire glass yeah it's really nice and thick you you, you can see it when you start uh, looking under the angle you can see distortion of the of, of the dial and actually I do like that because whenever you, you check your dial you can see something in you have different perspective of, of the dial and oh between the locks let me see it's it is 22 millimeters but yeah definitely 22 millimeters and let's see from lock to lock and I will use actually because it is the screwable pins for the locks I will use okay I need to check over the camera 40 so it's a 49 49 millimeters from center of the screwable pin locks maybe even a little bit less I will say 48 millimeters I'm just checking over the as you can see now I am in the, somewhere in the middle and it's 48 millimeters from center of screwable pins for the locks and that should what should be measured because from end to end of the locks it is 52 millimeters but you, you when you put it on the wrist it's always coming from the center of the of the of the of the pin so it is 48 millimeters so it's quite small actually for 44 millimeters that is quite small distance between lock to lock which means actually even people with a smaller wrist without a problem could wear this 44 millimeters case is it thick yeah well it's 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 not small watch let me see about the weights how much this actually weight it should be somewhere around one four five i think just like feeling no it's less actually it's 132 grams all together with the strap so it's not so heavy it's not so heavy uh what i didn't tell uh, oh crown we just started about the crown then i start talking about the uh, logo which is actually a nice logo and the crown um, this is the, because this is the space exploration watch it have a lot of space theme and uh, uh, and design um, stuff about that one of this is the crown if you remember um, and you know the space stuff and uh, space rockets um, um, this design is actually from uh, burning par um, the parts on the end of the old space rocket i don't know all the the terminology so sorry but uh, actually when when you check and if you see imagine that somewhere there is the is the body of the rocket and this is actually where the all the thrust going down and the rocket going up so it is nice actually i like it also the crown is a screw in screw out type so Oh yeah, it's nice pop out. I don't know if you can hear. And just screw in. Yeah, it's it's really nice feeling. It's it's easy to do it. It's it seems long, it seems small, but actually it's quite nice. I like it. This is date, but I will not. Um, I never. Uh, this is one thing. It doesn't matter with this watch. It's all mechanical uh, watches uh, never change the date first first I always put it out and uh, I check the time just to see where I am is if I am in the midnight or past and it is oh I didn't check actually I just turn around but I think we'll see now it is 19 says so let me see so this is actually noon so it's not the midnight it's noon so i will just put it in standard position 10 10 and now 
I will check the date. Because if you're changing the date between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., there is a reasonable option that you will damage your movement inside. It doesn't matter if it's Japanese, Swiss, Chinese movement, doesn't matter. If it's mechanical, don't do it. First, check the time to put it on the mi on the noon or somewhere between. Just not do it between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Very simple rule. So, well, at my place today is actually it's 8th and happy International Women Day because it's 8th of the March. So I will put it on the 8th and I will not be bothered with time right now. Just date is enough. Uh, so I will put everything screw in so it should be okay so uh, what else to tell about the, this case For now, okay oh bezel this is like so you know things for sewing the wood and it's it's actually let me see how it's full oh it's full well not sharp this is not sharp but you definitely just can do it easily and it's un undirectional so you can uh, counterclockwise only direction to well it's it doesn't go anymore so that's when you put it on the position you want this is nice let me see alignment Yeah, it's 120. It is 120 clicks. So it's quite precise. As you can see. I find it quite precise. And it's, well, it's, with time, it's going to be easier to move it around. And you can see it's just goes strictly back in the last position. So it's nice. Yeah, I can see. Okay, so that is the bezel. Also, the one of the design uh, stuff on the bezel, this um, circular grooves on the uh, on the bezel. Actually, they are as um, planet. Uh, uh, well, now now I miss the world. My brain just freeze. Um, you know when the planets go around the sun and uh, that's called orbital circular root. <laughs> Sorry, my brain literally freeze. I cannot find the word. But anyway, these grooves are made because of that. Uh, as you can see, dial have, well, it's not um, right gulliosh style because it should be, or sunburst. Well, it is gulliosh style. It's not sunburst, but... Actually, it's, it's meaning of this is that the sun is inside and it's ray outside. And that's why there is a, this um, grooves in, in, in the bezel. I like this bezel. I really like it. It's not usual. Maybe you can even really sew some wood with this when you took it out in the, in the case of need. But I like it. You, you definitely can feel it under the fingers, no question about it. But also that means you can easily put it wherever you want. Doesn't matter if your hands are sweaty or not, you, you will be able to do it. There will be no, you know, it's slipping out. So, that is the bezel, that was the case, the dial, we started about dial. Okay, as you can see, there is the Neminus logo with four psi in diagonal shape. Uh, also the Neminus uh, name and everything is applied. Uh, also there is the automatic. Uh, if I didn't mention, I will mention now, this is 30 atmosphere uh, water resistance. That means 300 meters. 
and uh, it is uh, diver's watch definitely th with 300 meters and this it is a swiss made so that means this watch is made or uh, assembled in switzerland so that is definitely good uh, also um, i will check about this um, which is actually difference between the models um, this is the mars and it's in the circular uh, ring and it's uh, like a chrome ring and inside is the the mars and it's in 3d made in i don't know it, it they, they use few technique of, of it and it's really nice and i will try to do a really close up of this mars uh, picture so i will just stop now so okay here is the uh, macro the best i can get uh, as you can see here's the indexes second hand and there is the this is the hour hand i'm trying my best honestly it's nice polished hour hand and this is the minute hand with uh, inside this bgw9 superlum same as the uh, hour hand and this one is colored painted minute hand is painted with bright red paint here's the window date nicely done really precise and in each hour indexes you can see thin line with bgw9 superlum is the logo everything is applied uh, the blue shine you can see is actually the anti-reflexing coating from inside and which is maybe will you interesting the most here is the mars um, as you can see it is printed but 3d printed and this is really really uh, almost microscope mi uh, uh, micro uh, 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 video so you can see even each line you you can can't see that with your your eyes very simple but now you can see it's it's really 3d printed and i'm trying to do my best uh, there's a just but you you have the picture i guess but it's really nice and and honestly when you check it with your eyes you can't see anything of these lines but you can see uh, the the 3d 3d uh, printing uh, special up and downs in these printings this is space spaceman <laughs> automatic 300 meters or 1000 feet or 30 uh, 30 meet uh, atmospheres um, unfortunately, I do not uh, playing now um, Spaceman from the Bowie. I like that very very much, but because the usual stuff with YouTube, internet, and etc., it's just easier not to do that. And here you can see the bezel. How is done? Okay, I will now try, oh, here is the crown, see, I will try now to turn around and there is, I can see also 3D printed printing on the back side with the galaxy view on the sapphire glass on the back side.
This is nice. Okay, I think that's it. We covered everything. So I'll turn it around. Oh, this is what I'm talking about when I say sharp edges need to be done. You see, this is the my skin. <laughs> These white parts are my skin. So this need, need to be better finished. Anything else, I'm quite happy. So, there you are. And I hope you... I, I, I'm continuing now. Um, this is this was the Louis Macro uh, video of that part. So I hope you like that. Um, anything else about the design? Oh yeah, hands. I'm checking the hands. They are colored red and white. Well, this is the BGW9 um, Super Loom in each hand, also in the uh, this triangle tip on the second hand, also there is a thin line in each uh, hour indexes. Uh, we will check later on how the loom is working. Okay, this is my try of the loom shot, this is not easy. Uh, actually, the shot itself, it's quite easy, but uh, the loom uh, video, it's not so easy because it's always going out of the focus and I'm trying really hard to, to disable, disable everything regarding the autofocus. Um, the watch was about uh, one minute on the daylight and maybe 20 seconds of sunlight because I actually don't I'm in England so there is no much sunlight but anyway um, there was uh, daylight and this is practically after well it was on the daylight in the in the in the room in in living room but now I put it on the window and this is the shot of it for the one minute so you can get the picture of how it is I think you can see it's it's working even now. So this is the dial. Oh yeah, uh, the design of the hands. It's it should look like um, space shuttle. If you remember space shuttle, you have uh, one central um, body with uh, liquid uh, fuel and two on the each side uh, with the uh, hard um, uh, fuel inside, which was external tanks and uh, they are designed it like that in to look like that and actually I like that design of these hands I, I, I do this is the red this is the chromed one and you can definitely say how how many minutes in hour it is just boom it's there you cannot miss it the second hand I like this detail of end of the second hand. It's always nice to see something, you know, to see something on happening on, on the dial besides this beautiful Mars. It's very nice. Anyway, so I think that is the dial. Do I like this dial? Yes, I do like definitely. I like this dial. It's, it's different. I like this sun rays i will not say sunburst but it's, it's definitely sun rays it's look like something going from center to outside and that should be look actually like that that is the design to to look like that so it's it's really nice so the back of the case let me see oh this um okay the back of the case uh, Above us, there is the uh, space station, International Space Station, going around twice a day, I think, maybe more, maybe, no, not less, it can be just more, but I think twice a day is going around, or maybe even more, I have no idea. But uh, one of the models on the space station is 
viewing model or the model with the window they call it window model and it's look actually like this it's not of course it's much bigger and uh, uh, and, and it's look like this and it, this is made to look like this uh, window model or viewing model on the space international space station and on the inside of the sapphire glass is imprinted um, galaxy view so actually that is from inside and um, i am really i do like science fiction movies uh, uh, all of them i really okay not maybe all of them but any 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 good one i i really do like and i do like space and uh, i like this one I, I i like this view because it's it's different let's see it's different and actually i can't see anything behind this glass so i can i can't see a rotor weight rotor or winding rotor on the on the movement and i will talk about movement just in the second but this is really really nice and i'm not joking about that i like this picture uh, 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 one thing more what to say that i'm trying to read this one and it's really hard it's it's quite dark oh That's one. Oh, this is the Neil Armstrong's words when he first, when any man, first man step on the moon, one giant step for mankind. Oh, I, I didn't. I missed it to start. That's one step. One small step for a man, but. One giant step for mankind. Well, this is the actually step on the moon, but this is the space explorer stuff, so I guess that's right. I don't know. Nobody step on the moon yet, on the on the Mars yet, so I don't know what they can say about it. But maybe that will change. Uh, it's a Swiss something. I don't see it, to be honest and uh, okay uh, i did take uh, the another glasses so we can read this again that's one small step for a man it should be bad one great leap for mankind and also it says here is the Serial number zero zero one of one hundred. Neminus Swiss Celita SW two hundred Sapphire Sapphire and so so. Uh, that means inside this watch and this casing is the Celita SW two hundred movement which is swiss movement uh, in this pre-production pre model it's ordinary i will say ordinary uh, movement but in production model it will be elaborate um, movements which mean it's going to be uh, more precise more better um, uh, b even better swiss movement uh, uh, higher rank of sw2000 uh, 200 movement so that should be just really nice also I, I i really like this back side i think it's it's a little bit different between just like i don't know i like it and it's not screw i don't know if it's screw in or not i'm not sure if it, there is the screws but i guess I, I i honestly i don't know if it's a screw uh, screwable case or hold with screws 
if, but if it's with screws there is a lot of them <laughs> one two three four five six so any case it's it's secure for sure and this is 300 meters uh, water resistance watch so no worries about that i don't like I, i'm sorry guys but I, <laughs> I like this backside and it's really showing nice the galaxy view i need to, to check which actually uh, which galaxy this is because i i cannot recognize like that and as i mentioned i do like space movies all like this i really like them Do documentaries movies doesn't matter um i really like them so and as you can see the crown is i like this crown it's it's quite well let me see how how much it's a zero so 5.7 millimeters is going out of the and now it's screwed in but let me check one thing how much is that causing the problem if you wear it on the left wrist and and doing the second to the last hole okay i have it on my hand no actually yeah I, you can see my my skin is well, I am over 50 years old, so it's not young skin, but I don't feel it. It's just, it's just there because it's, it's a thick watch. So the, the crown is quite up there. You, you see, it's not, I like it. I like this one. It's really nice. So, okay. That is. I did talk about backside. I check the case. I check straps. I like the buckle. It's a simple one, but as you can see, it's it's a nice one. Nicely done. I, you just and everything. I, I, that is what I like. Well, I, I didn't mention because I just realized that. To be honest, you see everything is. In the level why because there is also well this is not machined I guess this is just stamped and but it's when you put the buckle pin see it's just flat that is nice also as I mentioned before this plate with the watch name because this is Mars Traveler it's machined it is plate which is held with two screws but the case is machined so actually everything is leveled it doesn't going out and i like that i really like that okay do i like this watch yes i do like this watch um do i like this silicon strap well it's nice it's not my choice but it's look nice you you cannot say it's uh, doesn't look nice no it, of course it is my opinion and i think it look nice does it it will go uh, it will does it will look better with another strap oh if you put here stingray strap gray one Oh, I think that will be game changer for sure. And I'm not joking about that. But let me try something. Ta-da! Chiribo, chiba. Okay, um, I just changed the, the strap and I couldn't find 22 millimeters. I found only 20 millimeters. So you, you can see it's, it's not exact match. But... You can see how it's look. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. Okay, doesn't matter. It's just for the try. How it's look? Well, actually it's look. This is the black PVD. It's not black DLC. 
and maybe if it's voice everything so ah. uh, how it's look on the on this strap what do you think oh, again I need something white or maybe not This one. Uh, so this is how this watch will look on the mesh strap. Let me check something different. And abracadabra, here is another strap. I don't know how this happened, but I left only with 20 millimeter straps. I need to, and I didn't even fix this one but didn't put the other side of the of the screwable pin but you have the picture how it will look on the something like this just to have I don't like it how it's all As I say, I didn't even try to put it all the way in. It's just to you, for you to see how it how it looks. I definitely needed to put other side too. Okay, it was just a try for you to see the different options. Maybe even for Neminus to check different options. But this is how it will look it's actually look nice i like it it's a it's a thin strap nylon netto natto but double natto not single natto i can do it with even with natto let me check abracadabra i think this could be good match orange black with this dial I just put it back on the 10 and 10 position so let me check this one again it's not 22 it's a 20 millimeters I don't know what happened with my 20 millimeters straps I am just obviously oh yeah I know what happened this is a small batch I have it I, I took the wrong box okay yeah I know what happened I took the wrong box with the wrong steps doesn't matter this is just for you to show oh this is looking nice actually I like this one this orange black combination with this dial I really do like this one. I don't know about you, but I like this one. So that is the another option, and uh, I will do now the last option uh, regarding the straps um, with leather straps. So just to see different option. Abracadabra, and here is the last strap. I will try it now. Uh, this is the leather strap. As you can see, two tone color, so black and brown. Uh, and finally, I well, I checked another box, and this is a 22 millimeter strap. So this is how it will look. I like this one actually also. Maybe if it's light brown, this insert. Hmm. Let me check. Yeah, it's nice. It's looking nice. So, that is the different straps regarding the, this case, dial and style and color. 
Uh, I'm sure because the, now I will mention um, Earth Dweller, which is the stainless steel brush it or polish it. I'm not sure. Stainless steel uh, casing and uh, also uh, Moon Explorer, which is black, totally black DLC coating. And this one is titanium, but it's dark titanium. Uh, titanium usually it's 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 uh, lighter in the color, but uh, this is quite darker. And maybe if it's a little bit lighter, I would like to see actually lighter. Th this one is quite dark. I didn't expect it. I checked the pictures, and on um, the pictures it was a bit lighter than uh, in color than than this. Let me check. You see. It is quite lighter on the on, on the picture, and as you can see, this one is just stainless steel brush case, and uh, Moon Explorer is black. So, I would like to see this DLC coating actually lighter. So it's, I think it's it's gonna be it's it will look better, and. Uh, maybe moon explorer to do this this kind of dlc coating because don't get me wrong it's looking nice I'm, I'm absolutely happy with this one and to be honest i'm thinking about first guys in one buying one on the in pre-order or i don't know whatever i would find uh, regarding the pricing of this watch right now I will check the sorry but I will check the just give me a second and this is the oldest straps I try oh I didn't try this one but I don't know. this is croc black one well it's look okay anyway uh, regarding the pricing, I will check the paper because there is a lot of different. It will gonna be a lot of different pricing right now on the uh, because this watch is in the pre-order. It uh, suggests uh, the pricing is uh, pre-order pricing. Let me see. So it's gonna be only twenty mo uh, twenty pieces uh, per model. That is the uh, 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 pre-order pricing and the price is let me see oh there is even two different prices one is 500 uh, US dollars for the first five uh, each model of course and then is uh, for 15 others of each model is 500 80 uh, US dollars and then uh, in, in pre-order standard packages you will you will see this uh, watch or uh, Earth Dweller or Moon Explorer de depends on which you want more um, and luxurious genuine leather travel pouch which in which oh for four watches so there is the mystery resolved and uh, I guess spaceman badge and volcanic rock bracelet. I'm not bracelet guy, so I don't know about it. But maybe you are. And then there will be everything left from the pre-order, but there will be only twenty per each model. So that means sixty of them. And everything, if it's going to be something left, everything will going to the Kickstarter. And um, in Kickstarter, the first early, early, uh, super early bird will be. Uh, well, $600, and then early bird $630, and then, uh, let me see, and Kickstarter special $660. Well, okay, regarding pricing, will I pay $450 in pre-order for this watch? Yes. There is no question about it. I think it's worth it. It's a Swiss movement, Swiss made. 
uh, it's a good movement Celita 2000 200 sorry uh, Celita, uh, SW 200 and it's uh, in production model will be even uh, elaborate uh, so it's a better version so yeah it's worth uh, I would like to see even well there is a lot of stuff going on this watch and I'm sure it's not cheap but I think 550 is the really nice price 600 uh, okay uh, next one is 580 actually in pre-order still I think it's fair price price uh, $600 I think that is the top dollar but still there's a lot of stuff going on this watch so I don't know if you like it you'll pay even more uh, and uh, suggested retail price for all models will be around 1200 US dollars which is at my opinion my humble opinion a bit too much but especially if you order directly from them so there is no middleman but if you didn't buy it through Kickstarter in the end well that's it that is what you want what you get and this much is really nice so would I pay 505 uh, $550 US dollars for, for this watch yes would I pay $600 for this watch on Kickstarter? I think it started with uh, Super Libre. Yeah, $600. Yeah, I think I will. Will I pay more? I don't know. But maybe I will. Maybe I will go to $650 even. So that means that is Kickstarter covered. It sounds nice. I'm going in incrementals. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's a nice sounding and it's it's have distinctive click between each uh, in, in between each clicks. Well, it's a really distinctive click. So, and I really think this is beautiful. I'm not joking. I, I would like to see rotor uh, winding rotor of Celita, but whenever I see this. I have in my mind, I literally have in my mind International Space Station and Window Model and well, this is a much better view, okay, smaller view, but they don't see uh, this galaxy in their windows, they see stars, they, 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 they see sun, well, they don't see sun without the protection, but it's really nice looking. I like uh, put I, I will put this watch on the time grapher um, is the unit which measure the actual movement and precise uh, accuracy of the movement uh, as I say it can only be better in production model so just to prepare okay this is the settings for multifunction time grapher I will turn it on and uh, well this what you see is actually the ticking of the bitrate auto detect and this is Solita SW200 uh, ordinary one and as you can see 28,800 bits per one hour which is quite high that's why the Actually, the second hand is so sweet. You can see it's how it's going. And what we can so this is actually well how I speak. That is how is actually it's it's a different. I don't know if we can get any better. 
when I quiet, then it's even better. But right now it's two seconds a day in minus. I'm trying to see if is there any better. Now it's three seconds. Let me check something. I need to. The point is of this unit is you need to be quiet, and I'm not quiet, and I even. Okay, now it's. I just leave it. So as you can see, it's going a little bit down, and that is exactly minus two seconds a day. Uh, I will not talk about amplitude bit error, but the point is parameters is this one and this one, which is right now imported for us. Um, now I will change the position and you'll see how it's changing the accuracy. It's going to minus. So this is actually in this position and now I will change to this position and let me see it went Oh, now I'm going to should go to plus. Yeah, it says plus six seconds. So I will turn it total different position. Let me see. I will wait just to hold on, and it will check. Now it's actually going to plus. As you can see, it's going slowly up. Yeah. Now it's because I think I put it on the 30 seconds sample rate, so every 30 seconds it's changing the the data. So now it's on plus three seconds, and now I'll put it back on the prime position. Just to check everything is done. You can see this is the when I turn it around, but that's normal. And uh, the initial initial uh, accuracy was minus two seconds, and now it should go. I will left it to wait a bit. Now it's even minus one second. But as I say, this is the ordinary SW two hundred. What you will get in the production model is elaborate uh, version, which is better version, more precise version, more accuracy. So with different position is going to be less differences in different position. But this is actually even even few seconds that is was I don't know five, six seconds between. And actually it's no oh, it's a plus oh it was a plus. So it's a few seconds differences. But it's quite quite a good one. Okay, I will stop with that. So it's gonna stop. Just to check again. I will let it go. And you can see. I will be quiet just for 30 seconds. Well, it's not. I'm quite. talking quite. Not slowly, but quiet. So hopefully it doesn't change. But it's it's quite accurate. I think that's it. We, we see everything. This actually is in, usually in this position. So my thought about this watch, and this is just literally after I open it first time, have it in my hands. Um, this watch. Is nice. Would I like to have this watch? Oh yes, I would like to have this watch because it's it's quite unique. Um, and I think that's it actually. If you like design, see, I'm now just trying to put in front of camera, and that is quite hard work because you, I'm looking through the screen of my camera and. I'm trying to actually put everything together and I will just 
I actually need two screws, screw, uh, screwdrivers, one on each side, and then just hold it on because, as you can see, on each side. Okay, so I think just to clean it up, it's not scientific, scientific, um, uh, technical, technologically advanced piece of cleaning but it's quite effective so that is this is the Neminus Mars Traveler uh, as you can see and I do like this watch uh, would I spend money for it not no I will not spend 1200 US dollars but even for Kickstarter pricing, yeah, I would. I would. Do I think anything uh, mentioned? Did I mean uh, something wrong with this watch? I don't know. Um, this is my first impression of the watch. I will now wear this watch for some time. And uh, so you can follow. Oh, look at this. This is actually nice. I didn't notice that this before. As you can see, there is a slight more gap be between uh, actually oh, uh, a screwable pin and the casing. So you can easily put, I don't know, let's say, not a strap. And this is nice touch. I like this one. I didn't notice that before. Same on the other side, of course. So this is the nice. Nice touch. And... Um, as I say, uh, you can check with uh, follow up, uh, it will came um, and then I will probably, right now I, in all honesty, um, I'm trying to find something against this watch, against this case and against um, anything. Um, I'm, I don't know, is it? this dot misaligned Let's see one click I don't think maybe it is I don't know let me check like this maybe it's misaligned I don't know I don't honestly I don't care if it is because first of all this is pre-production model so this could be changed um, if they I will definitely notice that and uh, write to the Neminus company about that anything I find wrong I will I will write it um, right now let me see wait, 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 let me see on the well if is misalignment this is easy fix nothing serious so I guess this is just pre-production let me check one thing because on the camera I do have lines no it is absolutely aligned and I can prove it if you put this line with this line and coming directly over the half you see so it's just visually misalignment and of course as I say I have do have lines on the screen of camera and when I aligned lower index upper index or index on 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock it goes straight I think oh it's hard to see, to be honest. Depends on the angle I look. But now the point is, I'm now now really trying to find something wrong. That sometimes that that is not easy. My, I must say, mm, something else with this one. I don't know. I, I, I like. I, I really like this one, and it's hard to me to find something wrong with with the back case. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. 
I would like to see this little. It's 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 quite um, uh, it's it's angling or it's not beveled. This pass is is quite uh, sharp. I didn't notice that on my wrist. Let me see. Yeah, I I can feel it. It's it's not big problem. I don't see. Okay, uh, this could be a little bit softer. This this endings could be a little bit softer. And probably it's gonna be need some cleaning every every now and then this this windows. Well, like usual cleaning in the house, <laughs> to be honest. But every time you can check your galaxy. Yeah, it's just nice, really nice. I like I I do like this this back case. Only thing I find wrong or. I will make different and I will notice that to Neminus, Neminus um, just to make this angles softer. It's it's quite well when you try it like with your fingers it's 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 sharp. Anything else, anything else, anything else, anything else. I do like this crown, it's a really nice one. Uh, Let me put this on different position. I usually don't do this in backwards. But it's nice to see that second hand doesn't move anyway. Clockwise, counterclockwise, it just doesn't move. And that is nice to see. Just no scientific cleaning. Okay, let me check. Yeah. I'm trying to show you the hands. And as you can see, there is the writing. Spaceman, automatic, 300 meters or 1000 feet, Swiss made. And I like this uh, windows, window, uh, date window. I see like it's it's crumbed around. I'll try to do as best I can to show you more pictures of the Mars. But it's really look, looking nice. I like it. Okay guys, that's it. I will do follow up and there you can find if I if I find anything else wrong with this watch, but for now I really do like it. Oh yeah, one one, one thing. I would like to see this um, in lighter color, not so dark. I think this is the best color for the moon explorer, but for Mars traveler I would like to see it lighter. I really do in real maybe in real uh, titanium color so uh, maybe even this plate darker and uh, casing lighter so crown and uh, helium valve and this plating dark and casing actually light and maybe even yeah even 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 uh, the matching color with the casing and the bezel but that is my opinion, of course. So, that's it from, from me for now. And uh, I think that it's going to be enough for now. Um, I will do follow-up. I will wear this watch and do a follow-up after it. So, if you like it, please share it subscribe it it uh, it's gonna be just more of uh, these uh, reviews this is just one review and um, i'm not paid for this review in any case uh, i'm not uh, getting nothing from this uh, i like i just like watches so i they asked me if i if i wish to do 
this I say yeah I would like to do it because I, I, I like to see new watches and actually that gave me chance to check the watch before I even buy it so but I'm not paid and um, I didn't I, I wasn't instructed what to say it's all what I see it's you hear it from me um, so I think that's it I hope you you're gonna like this one and um, uh, thanks for watching of course uh, as I say if you like it please subscribe give me thumbs up um, and share if you didn't like you didn't like it well that's okay too but in that case please share and warn others about that okay and for the end happy watch hunt bye